Rebels had converted 65% of their fourth downs this season, most in the country. Action behind it. Trey Harris in the slot right here. They motion Wade, change the defense on the run. It is caught for the first down. To create the rug, great route there. Hesitation by Jordan Watkins. Dart on a quarterback draw. Remember, he took a hard. That's what Lane Kiffin said. He's like, look, we would prefer to not bang up. Dart to the line, helped him with that. Here's Judkins. Cowbells in unison. Dart pulls it back. Wide open! It's pre-score! What? And the only safety back bites on the run. Everybody up close thinking it's going to be a short yardage. And the point after is good from above as his son extends the Ole Miss lead. Have a lot. Tula Griffin picks it up after a hop. A certain way. Mm -hmm. Showing dominance with the backup quarterback, so the committee doesn't look at them any different. Second down coming up. What is. Mississippi's take need to do here down two scores two middle type of offense and they need to get back to that let will Rogers do it he out of the pistol play action a little bit hot a corner route zone coverage did a good job dropping underneath that he's got Jeffrey Pittman in it running back pressure coming Rodgers feels it and incomplete. He has a minute. He starts panicking before he needs to. Right now he's worried and he had a half a second long. State will need its defense to come up with a stop. They punt it away. It's fair catch at the 45. Got bumped by his own. And if Texas Tech somehow wins that game, then we get Big 12. And if you don't have one, you're him. <laughs> yeah, they, they're the game. Look a little wobbly going off the field when Spencer Sanders replaced him. 12.04 left in regulation. Dart warms up. We step was until the chair is splintered. So they said, let's make this more. Pressure for Bookie Watson on the edge. They rush with Quinchon Judkins. And Judkins gets taken. Bookie Watson. They got to make a big play here. Whoa, that's a big stiff arm. On. Just a little sweet play here with pre scorn mm -hmm. Delivered food. Dart a little bit wide, along with Eli Manning, who did it three times, and Matt Corral, who did it twice. Safety blitz, sideline, and it's incomplete. Little double move to Cameron Richardson, like you said, right in phase, turns at the right. Rebels three for 12 on third down tonight. Here he comes up the A gap. Dart pressured, throws, it is nearly picked, but it come out a little errant. Yeah, book. The route was there. If the ball even been able to put it for a fair catch, it'll be a long. You need your leader. And we talked with Will this week, and the body language, the talk knows that this quite possibly could be his last hurrah here. Process an injury that was supposed to be four to six weeks to get back with in the history of this angle. Have started it four times. And he completes it to Xavier Thomas, who picks up the first lane on the outside. Linebacker caves in, and Xavier Thomas right behind that secondary player. Mississippi State team playing under an interim head coach, and Greg Knox. Rodgers had it stripped from behind, got it back a little bit. And Will Rodgers able to make something out. On play action again. Leaves the puck. Well, he was in a foot race with John Saunders Jr. Everything. And, and he took. A moment after their win last much this next week, this game, Mint. There's a little toss to Tulu Griffin. Picked up the Knickers old. We're playing in the front yard. Nobody could catch me. None of my friends. Thousand has produced Heisman Trophy winners and legends. They produced Tulu Griffin too. The fellas, I caught up with Mississippi State head coach Greg Knox. Right. That would include Griffin Rogers on the money. They even have a tight end on the roster under Mike Leach. Boy, in a little movement to the underneath route to open up the window. Crowd not happy that an Ole Miss player went down. He's helped off the field with the limp. Will Rogers going back to work. To Tulu Griffin. Through. They found the edge. Concept they complete it for a first down and a flag. Offense number five. 
15 yard penalty. Third down. And then continue up field. I think that's a good call. It's up to the offensive player to avoid the cut. Little hair behind. Gonna kick it a field goal. They were, it, it does. I got. Yeah, but he he gets paid <laughs> to know the rule book. Here's Kyle Ferry who missed for line. Just gets underneath with this one a little bit. You may have heard that Lane Kiffin is the portal king, and of the players on this roster, the individual players about the rivalry, he didn't have to look. It's, oh, that one's on the ground. It's an incomplete pass. It was tossed forward. Here's a guy, thanks to his family connections and his own playing days, knows what it means. Obviously, it means a lot to his family. And in 1991, he played in the first one back here at Went, and he said, well, you know, the phone was ringing the entire night. And we pick it up, and we'd have to watch Florida State play, and Keon Coleman makes a play. It brings back bad memories <laughs> of the end goal. And now the Rebels looking at a third and ten. Be intentional grounding. The officials are talking about yep, here. They will drop the flag. Now watch the free safety come all the way down. Nobody in the middle of that's significant because that backs you up for a field position change here. Punts for Ole Miss tonight. Set up a return here. Yard line. Zavion Thomas. It's midfield and Mississippi State's got the momentum and the cowbell. And it's a great block right on this cutback by the Cambrian Richardson right. Rodgers steps out of the pocket, on the run, lets it fly, and incomplete. Once again by Ole Miss, nowhere to go with the football for Will Rodgers. Here's Marks out of the backfield, sailing him. It's the velocity on the passes, but Jordan, it's also the accuracy. Just not quite as sharp, but I mentioned earlier, he, he quoted Coach Leach. They got Jeffrey Pittman and Kevon Lee. Rodgers trying to hide the ball on a play action. An attempt at a 50-yard field goal last possession that doinked off the crossbar. This has been one of the calmer games I've seen him call all season. Not near as much. Pressure. Rodgers. Incomplete. Left arm strength we're talking about. This ball just dies on the outside. It needs to be on him now. Those that you used to make, plays that you used to make that were just part of your normal rhythm. Yeah, it's still earlier, and sometimes that, that picture becomes a little cloudier. Got to work some clock. They'll do it with Quinshawn Judkins. He gets bottled up. Judkins led the conference in rushing touchdowns last season and again this year. 1980 and 81 named Herschel Walker. He was pretty good. Turned out. And Mississippi State still with all down, so got to get a stop here. Rebels milked it, but then found nothing. Now you might as the interim head coach twice for Dan Mullen teams. All year, and he took a monster hit here. Went out of the game briefly, but, and it could be beautiful, and that's what it's been so far tonight for Jackson Dart. When he was being recruited, and an option with the pitch to Judkins. Get the dagger and pick up a first down and put this one away. I was watching Judkins from fast in the country and converted fourth downs behind Boston College and Texas Tech. Take a shotgun snap. Converted tight end, but deep. And Kiffin. Timeout. Over. Motion, so nobody had their hand in the ground for a second. I, excuse me. Are you asking too much of your defensive lineman as those guys are moving? D line is jumped. Well, you got to get him across the football first and foremost, but like Jordan's talking about, if he. <laughs> Pegues in the direct snap takes it over for the first down. Yeah, Pegues really was lined up, man, to try to bring down. Two and a half minutes to play. Judkins got blasted. This make it look easy on offense, right? Yeah, this minute, this Ole Miss offense leading the country in yards for the last. It's like years. watching a no hitter for a fight through adversity today. There's Judkins on the toss. I'll leave a third and two. Yeah, you know, it feels like the Alabama game and the Georgia game, they got hit with a dose. Not healthy. Yeah. Caden Priest corners his first game back, so a full. 
Fake toss, Dart picks up the first down. And he'd be on the scoreboard after this Dart run and with State's timeout situation, putting that left shoulder down, letting the defender hear about it. Academic now, but six win teams, even sitting at what would be five and seven. Defense. Egg Bowl win, what does it mean to you? Uh, it's, it's just really cool.